welcome to the channel. On today's video, we're going to be showing you on how you can create a Power BI report in less than two minutes and without leaving Dynamics 365. On the 1st of April, Microsoft finally released a feature which has been on early access since February. This new feature is called Power BI Quick Reports in Power Apps and it is enabled by default. So this new feature enables you to create reports in the Power BI service, starting with a view in your model-driven apps. Looking at a view that you'll be currently on and the columns of that view, it takes that data and then automatically creates a new Power BI report where you will be able to customize it without you leaving Dynamics and it also allows you to save that report once you're done into the Power BI workspaces. To be able to do all of this, head to your environment. When you are in your environment on a specific view, like my active contacts on my screen, you will notice we have a visualize this view button, which has an icon similar to that of Power BI. When you click on this button, a mini Power BI dialog will pop up where you will be able to create your Power BI report, but it automatically looks at your data that is on your view and looking at the columns of that view to generate a new report for you without you putting much effort. And once it is loaded, you'll notice that I didn't have to do anything. Using the data that was on my view, it created visuals for me. If I like it, the way it has generated it for me, I can simply click on save, give it a name, and then save to my workspace by clicking the continue button. If you still want to tweak it a little bit by changing the visuals, like for instance, the first visual that I have here, I want to change this into a donut shaped visual. Simply hover to the top right of that visual and you will see personalize this view. Click on this icon here. Once you click on this icon, a menu will pop up where you can customize your visual types, your Y axis and your X axis, legends, small multiples and tool tips. At the moment, I just want to change the visual type. I click on the name and then looking at the icons, I locate my donut shape and click on it. And it immediately changes my visual. Just close and it is changed. And now I want to change the second visual to a slicer. I go through the same process by clicking on personalize this view and it pops a menu. I change the visual type by locating the slicer icon and click on it. It automatically changes my visual to a slicer where I will be able to slice my data based on either one of these values that I've got. And at the top, I want to add a count of all the rows. I can click like I would usually do on Power BI on the far right. And now, if I want to see a different set of visuals by count of rows, I can actually do it like I would do it in Power BI by selecting the count of rows. And as well, I want to be able to see the municipality and the department. I select department, municipality. You will notice now that my data is actually sorted by those types. And now I'm satisfied with my dashboard. I can simply click on save, select the name that I want, click on continue to save to my workspace. It has saved the report for me in my workspace in Power BI. I can click on the green text here to view it in Power BI, edit it more 
or get a share link that I can share with my managers or whoever wants to see that report. As you can see from my screen, now I have the report in Power BI where I'll be able to share by clicking the share button or continue making changes to the report or be able to export it to a different data type by clicking export and choosing your preferred format. In my case, it is PDF. And that is today's video. Join us next time when we show you on how you can improve your workflow or using Dynamics and the Power Platform. Don't forget to like, subscribe.